going on guys this is a uh, follow-up video on my previous streaming setup um, I noticed after I watched the video a couple of times that I really didn't touch on the nature of the video itself um, which was my particular streaming setup so um, with that being said I went ahead and took a quick video on my cell phone because I'm not able to grab my camera off of here and show you guys exactly um, how I have my stuff set up so I hope this works for you um, this is my particular setup so what we are going to do is I'm going to give some commentary on how we have this stuff set up so this is my entertainment center here um, all of these systems are hooked up um, with the exception of a few of them I don't have these set up here um, these right here I don't have these set up uh, this is not set up um, of course this I don't have the thing to set it up this is just an extra system um, all of these over here are set up as well um, I can literally just turn them on and I can stream from my PC so um, with that being said we are going to go ahead and um, get into this So like I said, all these systems here are all set up. Got your OG Xbox, GameCube, Nintendo 64, PS2. Um, I'm even able to stream from my PSP right here. Um, I do have the AV cables that are hooked up. All I have to do is uh, just hook that up with the, uh, the power cable. So uh, we do have the Dreamcast here as well. That is hooked up. Um, I do apologize for all this junk in here. Um, this is still from the move, so. Do you have my PlayStation Vita? I can stream that using a hacked Vita and a Vita dock. Now, this right here is an 8N um, RCA uh, selector. So, I've, you can see I've got these marked here uh, for which systems they are. And then I've got this going into a um, got it going into a RCA to HDMI adapter which is cheap um, I'm going to show you all these products on Amazon here in just a few so I was trying to get a good angle um, I got a lot of stuff in a small space so there's the back side all the cables being hooked up right here from the dis different systems they all go into this uh, right here then we got a HDMI cable going into and this is what I call my HDMI stack um, what this is is I've just got a bunch of stuff stacked up um, this right here is going to be my Wi-Fi router this is my Ethernet switch um, this right here is a 4 in and 2 out um, HDMI switcher and it's automatic um, so I can turn on one system and then uh, turn it off and then turn on a completely different system and it'll automatically switch over um, that is nice it's not really needed um, for it to be automatic but it is a nice thing and then up here I've got a Raspberry Pi um, that is also hooked in um, this cable right here is actually for that um, it is unplugged from the switcher because I have some other stuff plugged in um, it is a four in and two out, which means you can put four inputs in and then two outputs. And that's very important because you need an output to go to your TV and then an output to go to your capture card. Um, now, if you are running it off of just a PC and you want to use your PC as a monitor um, for that gaming, that's perfectly okay. You can do that as well. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can capture this stuff. But uh, this is my particular way that I'm doing it. Um, again, I'm going to give all the product links for this stuff. And um, all this stuff is pretty cheap. Uh, you don't need um, this stuff right here. You don't need the Raspberry Pi. That's just my setup that I've got on there. So continuing over. Um, it's going to go from the uh, HDMI converter into here. And then this is going to go into the TV and then into the computer, which I'll show right here. Again, I apologize for all the 
the mess and the cables and everything. It's all just a process. Now this right here is my PC. This is an older uh, Lee and Lee um, home theater PC case uh, that I like. Um, it's made very well. But I have my capture card in here. And um, it has a pass-through. So I've got my monitors up top. And then I've got a, another TV. It's a 20-inch TV. Um, just big enough for me to play off of. So um, I've got the HDMI going from the uh, HDMI splitter into the capture card. Then I have a pass-through going up to my other TV. So then you'll see the output on there is the same as on the TV. Um, there is no lag um, whatsoever with, with all that. Um, and what I didn't show was having OBS open, um, and it will show this right here um, in OBS as well. So, like I said, you could use that as a monitor if you had to, but um, in my opinion, depending on your system, um, there could be some lag, and it wouldn't be uh, very good to do that. So, um, that is my system. Um, again, here are the products that I used. Um, I tried to keep it under $30 a piece just because, you know, I don't have that much money to work with. So um, your computer's going to depend on you. Um, you don't have to use this particular um, capture card as well. Um, you can use an Elgato. You can use uh, whatever you want. But uh, this particular one was the most expensive part of it. Um, I did not pay $108 for mine. Mine was about $75. You can literally find this card everywhere. Um, it's under several different names, but it's all the same card. Um, it comes out of China. And this was actually um, suggested by my friends over at Pints and Amiga. This is uh, one of several cards that they use. And they said it was great. So I picked it up. Um, because not everyone can afford an Elgato capture card. Uh, they, they cost about twice this much. So if you got a couple hundred dollars to spend on a good card, go ahead and do it. Um, for me, I'm doing it on the cheap. So we got one of these. I got one extra. Um, just because it's good to have an extra. Um, these things do go bad. And they go bad at the worst time. So... Um, like I said, I can capture 1080 at 60 frames with this. Um, it works great. Uh, plug and play. No drivers needed. Um, it works on both Linux and PC. Uh, I'm not sure if it works on Mac. Uh, I don't know anything about Mac. So if you're running uh, Windows, this should work for you perfectly fine. Um, RCA to HDMI. This does require a USB power, so you'll have to have a plug for that. Um, does come with the cable. And the box is small, easy to plug in. You got your yellow, white, red, and then the HDMI on the other side. Uh, this is $14. Um, again, this is another product out of China. You can do 720p or 1080p. Um, you just flip it, and it's uh, pretty instantaneous. Uh, works great, and they all they all cost about twelve to fifteen dollars. So um, this is something that I use, which is the uh, eight in, and then one out um, eight port um, composite video selector box. It's just like an old school selector box from the eighties and nineties. Um, nothing spectacular. I just needed something that I could hook up that many uh, that many systems. And it works good. So, um, other than that, that's all I got going on. Um, I use OBS for my software. That's uh, totally free. And um, I hope that this helps. Um, I apologize for the video quality, but uh, you know I'm still learning this stuff. Still not super uh, comfortable behind the camera, but it's getting better every day. And we will see you guys next time. Appreciate you.